Hello there my favorite mountain mujahideens, long time no see I know. Well I'm fucking disappointed in my uploading schedule but a lot of shit got in the way and I don't want to make excuses so fuck it, here we are in Hearts of Iron 4, again with me, Mountain General. And yes I have a lot of video ideas my head is going to explode but no time to do so. So if you enjoy my downfall don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this and maybe ring the bell so you know when I upload. Now for the thing that I want to do in this video we need to go to custom game rules and make Japan commit seppuku and creating a shithole from their own country so we as Manchukuo can go back and reclaim our own land. So the game plan here is very simple, we need to shoot some bandits first, get ready to pacify our whole country, shooting your own people is always the best activity you can do. And for now it's just a waiting game, it's good to do this as soon as possible so our factories just randomly don't explode. Next up we need more civilian factories, because not having any kinda sucks dick. Oh and there goes my only military factory. And this is just fine. Oh and this is pretty cool because we just got a bunch of Japanese generals into our army, we have some samurai people and yeah that's how I'm just gonna describe them all, samurai people. They are all pretty good. Now it's time to be good friends with the Germans but also Soviets as well, we will do few little tricks here. We got a nice little guarantee from the Reich and also we will send a mission to the Soviets as well. And hey let's just ask for a Soviet general because why the fuck not? Who doesn't want Alexander Cherepanov? Hey we got ourselves a nice general and my big daddy pimp Hirohito just exploded into a civil war. But it doesn't matter because now we have a new good friend Prince Demchung Dong group and he will lend us a hand. Also we'll ask the Germans for Mr. Flackenhausen so we are maxing out all the generals we can get. Also by the way we got our industry back. Now when Tokyo fell like in two days we can enact our plan and take on the whole Japanese army that remain like 34 divisions but we get ourselves a little sweet navy of 95 ships that are mostly well damaged and we don't have anything to repair them with but that won't be a problem and we also gained a fuck ton of pointless territory. Our plan is just going very nice and we can also accept the naval limit blah 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 and our boys are going unharmed home to fucking Manchuria. But it isn't that bad, our navy largely isn't that damaged and sometimes you just take like 20, 50, 40 ships so this is a very nice count. You know the true axis was consistent of Manchukuo, Germany and Italy. This is the tripite pact or whatever the fuck was it called. And what now you may ask? It's it's very simple, we need to be assertive and build our nation from the ground up and organize a lot of bullshit as well, like trying to catch up with the technological advancements in the world. This will be a lot of fun with two research slots. You know you don't really need trains for supplies if you don't have them researched already. I'm just adding weights to my country. Our first dockyard is up and running and soon we will have a proud fleet. Only shame is that we didn't get any admiral and have to start from the bottom, like quite literally of the sea. We also have to create the most ultra nationalistic Manchukuo, Mongolo, Chinese, Sino, whatever the fuck state. For those bonuses of course. This is very nice, Mr. Hirohito, feel like you are at home. I've also discovered a little trick of sending your ships abroad to Italy to get repaired. And some of my best divisions are coming for a little exercise in Italy. Just you will see what they will do. And we bypassed the imperial war because like we already did that but in Japan. And now let's score all these imperial territories that belong to us because having those 6 million people as non-core state really sucks. Now now I don't want to cause any trouble so I will ask the warlords to just submit to my rule. Like what could go wrong you will be just fighting Pui's Asian world wars. Not gonna lie 
why we kind of got a very good luck because now we control most of the warlords of China and you know we kinda need to go fast and secure all of our warlord belongings yeah this is nothing personal I just want your lands and don't mind me getting that good old war supported not gonna lie fighting in Asia before the new supply system was kinda fun now it's just cock and ball torture 1000 but at least I'm not sending anyone to die in the sudden meat grinder you know just the Guanji clickers and Yunnan having a bit of fun one warlord done and I take everything yummy yummy territory this front is way more bloody and I think I have just killed a quite a lot of my people but you know I don't care they are about to all die for their emperor with my very motivated people I was able to win yippee now this is pretty random but France is guaranteeing my independence the fourth axis member that is long forgotten so now the ww2 started with the germans and we will try to you know get into their faction and after the polish capitulated we will join the faction because world tension got high enough and prepare our little strike wars um so this just happened communist china just declared war on me and um you know i have a whole army ready to fuck some shit up with mao but i don't know why everyone is calling italy and other people this is just unfortunate i was about to launch my you know surprise attack against the british and this will probably fail but well hell let's see if we can do some damage here and yes our invasion has just launched and also the maoist communists aren't looking that good so after all this isn't that bad just yet i just hope my surprise attack is really surprising the british fear the samurai i will also give this to the germans so hopefully they will come to my rescue here also we are kind of fucked because mao made affection with the japanese so f's in the chat for my army especially here where i forgot that my troops are well fighting against the indians and frenchies now hold up wait a minute this ain't looking that bad after all yeah we will struggle a lot if the germans won't come to our rescue but they also have full hands with the french as well also the evil maoist were just fucked in the ass by my kwang tung army so i think it's time to make new enemies perhaps france is about to die uk looks manageable at best so let's start a new conflict and call everyone in and yes i have been preparing for the chinese for a long time as they join the allies and they are not a major nation so this should be all good now only if we win here you see my main chinese army is doing wonders with this big ass front and having all your warlords with you is overpowered as fuck also come on on Manchuria let's score some fucking goals man I be truly bring that samurai spirit to axis that everyone just desperately needs so much even Germans are turning up with their armies so yeah this is pretty much won this took quite a lot of stress but now hopefully everything will be just fine this is truly a wholesome invasion so many beautiful pockets and some Scottish cities and this should be over oh fuck china is a major nation never mind england down and we are almost halfway through china our nice little pockets are here and everything is just looking fine front big equals big circles of dead people you got to love this shit you know i'm basically an extension of emperor hirohito himself so this is just pretty good i would say and yes our german friends can have bajillion Jillian Chinese people to help them guard their country. I'm just literally walking around my enemies to empty cities. We are definitely the liberators of this war. An encirclement. And another encirclement. How cute. Battle of Wuhan, bitch, I just walked in here. The jogging in Wuhan. You know, I'm just Japan on fucking steroids. Look at this beautiful invasion. We don't have to care about our warlords. They will manage themselves nicely with zero division. They are just leaving the country empty for me to just walk in. Man, I ain't complaining. I'm celebrating already. And allies just said, fuck it, we are going to die. Now with newly gained strength by conquering all the allies, we just have to defeat the evil Japan. But
but by this point they have a fuck ton of soldiers so this won't be easy. And hey this is not that bad we can send a million people to Italy and we can reorganize our army pretty nicely and prepare for the greatest invasion ever. And like only two Japanese people died so far in this war. So far. Me I'm just moving my capital to the right spot and meanwhile the Germans are doing funny things in the Soviet Union. But me I don't have time for that. I need to land in Japan where it will be fucking impossible. Now that the Japanese are trying to waste their whole army here in Asia, it's now time for me to launch my huge ass offensive and hope it will work out. Fingers crossed. And as you can see our beachheads were secured. Well now I'm counting with horrible and big losses but well what the fuck you expect when Japan goes this much time to prepare their shit. I feel like the Japanese might feel a bit flabbergasted by my surprise attack on their little island. And yes, my undersupplied army is literally marching towards Tokyo, hopefully unopposed. Now this is our epic journey how we are using Germans, Japanese and Manchurians to liberate Japan and take it back for our old Emperor Hirohito. Oh yes, Tenoheika Banzai indeed. Honestly I thought this would be much harder but no, this is pretty easy when they just started going everywhere else except their island. Me I have used every single brain cell in my body to pull off this many beautiful slaughters of the communist Japanese. You know the Japanese army entrusting me with what remained of them was the best decision they could have ever made. Like you can trust every Manchurian man you meet, don't worry about it. This is for what you did to Hirohito, you just sent him to live in China eternally. You don't do that. That was nice from you. And me? I'm literally now Japano-Chinese Union with Pui in charge. And yes, we can resettle some Japanese people into our Chinese provinces. Why the fuck not? And as a cherry on top, why don't we just invade the Soviet Union? I just love how this guy is just a traitor to the motherland. Well, back to the front everyone. It's time to win, win and only win. The Soviets are so scared of us that they have pulled almost all of their divisions out of our border. Very nice. You know cherry on top of this is that all the Soviets are here encircled because their capital city is here. They still have a, a little port but soon they will all just die. Out of starvation. How ironic. Never forget that I'm Chinese. I'm gonna roll my myself all over Tibet. Also, fuck you Bhutan too, my territory now. Soviet Union is nicely done and I just still need to act as if I'm Japanese. Yeah, I will do a few border corrections and I'll be right back. Also Patton, like get fucked, I have the whole axis on my side. Yeah, this ain't nice, is it? Finally, the Imperial Kwangtun territories have pressed their god-given claim to Indochina. Now Mr. Demchuk Dong Group, you you were my only friend, we have started as brothers, so that's why I have saved you as the last warlord to annex in China. And lastly it's time to finally claim mandate of heaven back. Not gonna lie, if I was Japanese I would feel a little bit scared by this move but well hell what can we do? Like I have shown you today another way to play as Manchukuo so you just don't go the obedient path or just declare war on Japan but wait for the Japanese to explode and give you some generals some navy and army. I hope you have enjoyed this video and was it worth the wait. Anyway if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and if you made it this far and you are new around here subscribe for more shit like this. Well whenever I upload it. Also like Nepal became a Switzerland of Asia. Both brothers are surrounded by Axis members. One struggle. And as always big thanks goes to my channel members their names are in the description. And a special thanks goes to Razanon and that one dude for being the highest channel members.